In this session, I will show you how to create groups. Creating groups will allow you to better distribute job responsibility related to portal management and with managing the different levels of permissions. Before we start, make sure you are in your organization's portal and that you have the proper permissions to create groups. Let's navigate to groups by clicking people and selecting all people. Selecting all people will reveal every group that has already been created and the number of members within the group. To create a new group, click create group. This will provide you with a text filled box where you can name the group. Let's give the group a suitable name. I'll name my group members and press enter. Once you press enter, you'll automatically be sent to the group as indicated at the top. To place members into the group, navigate back to all people. Select the person you wish to have in the group and scroll over to manage. Doing so will provide you with a list of groups to choose from. Select the group you wish to place the member into. Notice that the member has been placed into members group. Members can be part of multiple groups, being that each group may have a different permission within the portal. To take a member out of the group, click manage again and select the group that you wish to take them out of, unchecking that group name. Reasons for changing a members group may be due to new organization leaders, new members, special committees, and any other reason pertaining to group management. If you ever need to delete a group, go back to all people and select the desired group. Once into that group, scroll over to delete group and select this option and press OK. Deleting your group does not delete the people within the group. It simply deletes the group and places all members within the group back into the default member group. Understanding the capabilities of creating groups for members will encourage your members to be active within the portal.